They did a nice win with the white pieces uh, against the French. You decided to go for the exchange French. Yeah. What happened? So first time in my life I've played e takes d5 on move three against the French. Um, basically, I couldn't decide what to do. He's very, very well prepared. He likes his unbalanced position, so I thought I'll make it as dull as possible and hopefully outplay him later. And it seemed to work. Um, I mean, that's always the danger. It might just peter out to a draw. But OK, I thought he's a pretty strong player. You know, I don't want to take any risks. And no, it was a good day. Yeah. It's a pretty interesting strategy to study your opponent's games and then sort of see the kind of positions he doesn't like and then decide your openings based on that. Yeah, I'm, I've been doing this since I was young, but the problem is nowadays everyone's so universal, it's impossible to, to do this. But I mean, cer certain players have certain strengths and weaknesses and I try to, you know, I try to pick those out. Um, yeah, and suit myself ideally. So, uh. Now, obviously the exchange is not the most dangerous line for black in the French. What went wrong for him? Um, I think he was just too slow because, I mean, in these structures, white has, I mean, actually I had a couple of extra tempi. I, at one point I went queen e, so he played bishop d6, queen e2, check, bishop e7, and I gained some time. And um, yeah, it's all about tempi. If he was just slightly quicker, he could have, I think he had one chance to equalize um, a bit earlier on, but he just assumed that with the symmetrical pawn structure, he'd be okay. Yeah, so it's all about timing. It's all about timing. Yeah. In the end, it all went pretty uh, wrong pretty quickly for him. Yeah, I mean, it, it, I thought I was checkmating him, but then suddenly, after a couple of tactics, I went into some endgame, and I think he was just happy to get the queens off, but he didn't realize how bad that endgame was. So, I mean, we were both short of time, a bit panicky, but uh, uh, not our finest moment, but no, it, I can't complain. I can't complain. Halfway mark at the Tradewise Gibraltar Chess Festival, you're on four and a half out of five. No reasons to complain? No, I didn't expect it. I felt quite tired coming into the event. And I, I mean, this is my last tournament before a big break. So I thought, just relax and not prepare. You know, that's why I'm playing Exchange French. Um, but it's going OK. We'll see. Long way to go. Long way to go. Is it one of those things where you, if you actually have a great tournament, then the break never happens? <laughs> Probably. It would be a nice dilemma to have, though. It would. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Right. Now, tonight is also the big night, the real reason why you come back yeah. here. <laughs> back here to Jib, the Battle of the Sexes. Yeah, I can't wait. Actually, j as soon as I finished my game, Nigel came up to me and said, are you in? And until that, I didn't know I was playing. But yeah, can't wait, can't wait. So the highlight of my tournament, for sure. It's quite interesting. I mean, Nigel and you have this dynamic relationship, to put it politely, and still he always wants you in his team. No, we hate each other, but we love each other. And um, that's, we've been teammates for years, so we know each other too well, I think. Um, but yeah, it'll be fun. He's a good captain, despite his flaws. <laughs> What's the most fun thing about the Battle of the Sexes? I don't know. It's, it's everything. It's just the atmosphere. It's just the fact that we both, I mean, the men and the women really, really want to beat each other. Um, it just adds a bit of an edge. And uh, yeah, I hope the fans enjoy it too. I hope everyone watching um, enjoys it. And apparently it's being streamed live this, this year. So I know a lot of my friends will be watching too. So yeah, it's unique. It's unique. A bit like what the Tradewise Gibraltar Chess Festival is having the strongest women players fight against the strongest men players. Yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm always scared to play the, the women players because, I mean, they're so dangerous and uh, there's so many of them here, which is great to see. I mean, I'm, I really want to encourage women's chess in England and, I mean, hopefully one look at this tournament will encourage younger girls to play. So, no, it's a good thing, for sure. Great to hear that and we wish you all the best for the Battle of the Sexes because you're going to need it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>